her take her medication. <laughs> what is, what is, which one is this? Is that the 6MP, the white one? Mercado Kirin, you should know that. that the, is that the one I cut in half and give her like the one and a half? And, mm -hmm. and yeah, you, you should be giving that to her. Molly, Molly, why, why aren't you taking your medicine? Well, I don't know what the mercaptocurine is a very important immunosuppressor, and it, it's really... Wait, what? What was that word? It's an immunosuppressor. It suppresses her immune system, so it... Isn't it, that bad? Well, it's good, because <laughs> it, 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 it um, prevents her disease from getting worse. But it's really important that she's taking it, so you need to really get better at that. Oh, okay. How, how, well, what should I do? Uh, it, it, you just need to. It's, it's not really an option. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, uh, is, there, is there anything else that... that we should do? Well, I should see you in three months, and you know, I hope to see some progress then. And that's it? I, I think that that's a good strategy, three months. Oh, okay, all right, and I just, uh, how do I make an appointment in the... If you go to the front desk, you should find someone who can help you. <laughs> okay, Molly, 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 we're, we're gonna come back in three months, okay? Okay, <laughs> thank you, Dr. <Dr>. Kenji. <laughs> It would 
be really impossible to separate people into camps of healthy and ill or IBD or not. You can't tell. Um, it's invisible illness. So our insides and outsides kind of lead different lives, and it's a dissonance that she has felt so many times attempting to explain her disease to a professor while sitting in front of them looking perfectly healthy. Her pediatrician once said to her that uh, when she was in the middle of a flare, oh, but you look so good. And uh, Jenny's sarcastic 14-year-old response was, it's called makeup. <laughs> <laughs> so recently her sister sent her some pictures of them the summer before her diagnosis. And besides the fact that she looks exactly the same, um, she even has the same clothes to prove it, it was a funny feeling looking at pictures from a decade ago. And in the picture she looks happy, but in truth she was really terrified and alienated in her own body. And she was sick and thinking in quicksand. Uh, for a long time, she used to feel really sad about looking at younger pictures of her thinking of her diagnosis as kind of the end of the book. But now looking at all of you, which I believe she's doing by Skype somewhere. There's a laptop set up. Unfortunately, it didn't work. Oh, it didn't work? Okay, <laughs> sorry. Um, but she, you know, she wanted to express that she feels very optimistic and excited for improved care now and, and for the learning session and what comes away from it afterwards. Um, the takeaway message from the whole network is simple, really, and it's that you're all in this room because you care. Uh, clinicians care, and you care so much that you come here and talk to one another and share best practices and then invite uh, patients like um, Jenny, Sammy, and I to attend, and you care so sincerely and deeply that uh, the sentiment is one to be proud of because to a patient that's really priceless, knowing that their physicians care. Being able to contribute on the loop blog, um, which if you haven't read any of Jenny or Sammy's posts, they're actually really remarkable. I recommend you do so. Um, and if you ask her, probably any other ibd -er who is involved with Improved Care Now or any other uh, charities related to IBD, when they're involved, they all answer um, that those things weren't around when we were young and we want to change things. Um, and this is the novelty of Improved Care Now, because you realize that change can happen um, from clinicians to patients, but between clinicians and patients. And having been involved in the patient activation intervention like Jenny has, uh, she's enjoyed learning a lot about the theoretical background and being genuinely invited to the round table and having her opinions valued. Um, she's actually a researcher, uh, like myself, and um, so she really loves being involved from that perspective, as do I. Um, and as a patient, uh, it gives her a lot of hope that things will be different for the children and families who come after her. Anyone who knows Jenny knows that she loves Patrick Dempsey. Um, and anyone who knows her loves that she know, knows that she loves her uh, GI doctor. We actually have the same one. Um, and she actually has a picture of him on her phone that she will show to you. And I'll, if you really want to see it, um, it's a great picture of him with some yogurt. Um, and I'm sure she'll be very happy to send that to me <laughs> and share with you if you'd like. Um, and everyone knows that she also bakes cupcakes like crazy. She actually offered to bake some for me when I got back to Boston um, when I give her the recap of the learning session. And that she wants to be a clinical psychologist, as do I. We have a lot in common. Um, her favorite color is purple. And that she has IBD and she does have an ostomy. Um, anyone who knows her knows that she's a lot more than her IBD, though. And we're all more than our labels, our uniforms, the letters after our names. Um, by seeing the person in your patient, you're going to understand them far greater than a medical record number and a list of medications. And the little things are tiny, but all together, they'll tell you a lot more about your patient and how to care for them. Ten years ago, Jenny didn't know what IBD was, and she never would imagine herself graduating college, wanting to pursue research. Um, she was healthy ten years ago, but ten years from now, she pictures herself 31 with a PhD and leafing through old papers, and she'll probably come across notes from past learning sessions, and maybe even this one. And she's going to smile, and she says she's going to think to herself how amazing it was to be invited to collaborate with you all uh, with such innovative minds and helping to really improve care. So she thanks you very much. changed for the better, but because I knew you, I have been changed for good. Ten girls were in choir, but only nine sang it at the spring concert. I wasn't there because I was in the hospital. 
next week is five years from that day. Five is just one of those numbers that feels really big to me, and to me it's worthy of celebration. Five years since the day I missed that spring concert. Everything that started happening to me in the weeks before. Everything that's happened to me since. And so much more importantly, everything I've been able to do since that day five years ago. I wrote a blog post on Loop. I don't know where Sarah Nacido is, but hey Sarah. Asking myself if my disease has changed me for the better. And I decided, no, my disease hasn't changed who I am. But you, everyone I've met, everything I've done, that's changed me. I used to think I just wanted to be a doctor, but through being involved with Improved Care Now, I've been able to see that there's a lot more to being a great clinician than I ever realized before. If I had to pick just one lesson I've learned from my time with Improved Care Now so far, it would be the value of teamwork. When we all, patients, parents, clinicians, researchers team up, we're really powerful, and that's incredible for me to realize. It's really meaningful for me as I transition out of pediatric care to know that what I'm leaving behind, that's only going to get better. And so much of the reason why it's going to get better is sitting in this room. It's motivated patients, motivated clinicians, motivated patients who team up and each contributing in our small but important way. Together since October, Jill, Molly, Jenny, and myself have worked as a team to strengthen the Patient Advisory Council so that it can work the best that it can for you and with you. Myself, I've contributed to UMI IBD, I've written for Loop, um, we spent a week honoring IBD Awareness Week back in December, writing about a few of the most exciting innovations, which is a terrible thing to have to choose which ones to feature because there are so many great ones, which is awesome. I've played through the EMMA application, developed at OU, um, I've tested Ginger IO, and I'm hoping to get involved with NF1 soon. And I'm sure that I've only just gotten started with Improved Care Now. It's a real honor to get to be invited as a patient to help develop the future because it's an opportunity not given to us very often. And it's something that I believe there's so much potential for for patients to get involved. If you haven't seen in the back of the room, there's been a poster board up all weekend that highlights some of the other PAC members. And if you haven't had a chance to look at that, I'd really encourage you to glance at it before it gets taken down. You all make it really easy for us. You've made my day a few times, and I know also Jenny's day with your comments on our loop posts. Those mean the world to me when they arrive in my email inbox. <laughs> um, and it's really clear, Jenny and I have discussed this a couple times, when we read your comments, it's really clear that no one's commenting because they have to comment. You're all really sincere and like having us involved and appreciate having us involved. It seems so simple and so common sense, but it's an amazing thing to experience as a patient. We really want other patients to feel that same feeling, but we need everyone's help. Right now, if you can think of a patient or two that you see up here in a couple years, next year, joining the Patient Advisory Council and contributing, it is such an incredible opportunity. All of us are responsible for finding the future leaders, and I hope that Jenny and I um, have been an example to you over the past year of how patients can contribute meaningfully to the network. The Patient Scholar Program has been so wonderful because involving patients is such an integral part of improving care for patients. I really can't wait to continue working with the network in the way I'm involved, and I really can't wait to see what you all can brag about next year at this time, and you definitely should brag. Um, but first, I owe you all a huge thank you. I didn't really know what Improved Care Now was at first, and then I got a definition and now it's really clear to me that there aren't really words that I can use to easily sum up what you all are doing. I wrote, my very, I wrote in my very first blog post for Loop, my story is my own, but my passion for sharing it is about so much more than me. So thank you for giving me unprecedented opportunities to share that passion. Five years ago, I couldn't have imagined that I'd be a part of something like this. I'm so, so excited about how we're going to grow myself, the council, Improved Care Now, C3N. And I can't wait to say when I'm a pediatric PI, yeah, 
I was part of that in the beginning. <laughs> I really feel confident in saying that I have been changed for the better. And as I pursue my own career in medicine, I really feel like I've been changed for good and will continue to be. I hope that you all can say the same about working with patients.